Okay, I just want to make a short term, short term, what does the teaching about cancellation of bad destiny contract? Because I, I realized that some people did not know that they can cancel, cancel a contract that they had from when they were coming into this world that is not affecting them negatively on this earth. Because when we are coming, we all have our contracts, which is in our palm as evidence. We have contract to marry, maybe one wife contract to have many kids or not to have kids at all. Constant to live very long, contract to die um, prematurely, contract to be poor and contract to be rich. So our contract that we came into this world is defies based on what we agreed on, you know. And we are all coming into this earth to experience something, to fulfill, to fulfill a role, a task, you know. And um, our ancestors in the ancient days, they know how to, how to take care of all these things. For example, a child, they could have a child that is getting sick all the time and have a short time to live on earth. Or maybe they have, uh, they are rich, they have grown to in their twenties or early thirties and they went for divination and they discovered that this child is destined to live short, not long, you understand? And what do they do? Because our ancestors are very connected to spirit, to source, they understand that if you had a contract that is now not favoring you on this earth, you can adjust it or you can cancel it, okay? So they always go and do rituals to change that contract from short life to long life. Even some people from getting sick all the time to, to be healthy, you know, because sometimes maybe when you're coming, you lived very healthy in your past life and you came to this life this time and you said, okay, I want to experience how to be sick all the time. You understand? And that is what you signed on. But when you came onto this earth and then you realize getting sick all the time is not fun, you know, dying prematurely is not fun. You, you have built a life on this earth and you want to enjoy what you have built. You understand? And you want to experience everything without dying prematurely. So obviously you have to go and then change that contract that you have signed in your past. You have to go pay off some debts. You have to go do some ritual to adjust the contract or to cancel the contract. So this is why I always tell people that if your contract also was to have a a bad spiritual husband that was attached to you due to cost or something, or from your karma that you have done in your past life, you can separate yourself from these things through rituals as well. Through saying no, you no longer want it, you can cancel this um, attachment that is attached to you that no longer favors you, okay? So you can change any negative thing in your life that is in your destiny. Anything in your destiny can be adjusted, can be changed. This is also why some people that are very spiritually enlightened, they can divert people, glory to themselves. Why would they do that? Because it's in your destiny, it's supposed to be there. They can divert your destiny um, blessings to themselves. They can take a star from someone and give it to someone else. But the star is your destiny, you understand? So a destiny contract that is negative in your life can be changed, can be adjusted through rituals. Okay? So, um... So that is what I just want you guys to understand that destiny can be changed. So this is going to be a short video. <laughs> and then I will come back for how to discuss about your deaths, like the sins and abominations that some people have committed in their past life that is not affecting them negatively, ne negatively on this life. And they do not realize that.